Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and I'm sitting here with Barrett, this guy, and uh, we are here to talk about NAM 2020. So we had, uh, this is your first NAM. It was. How'd you like it? I really liked it. Did you have fun? Yeah. If you could have seen the look on his face, <laughs> you lost your mind when we... Uh, Oh, almost ran over Steve Gadd in the Hilton there. Yeah, first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, and that look on his face, again, was uh, priceless. So yeah. we saw a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw a bunch of stuff where we started. Uh, well, you know, Pearl. We, Pearl, that was where we started. Mm -hmm. The Thrones are doing a new line of Thrones, which were really impressive. Um, I think that was long overdue. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing those and new colors on the MCT. Yeah, they look great, which was good. Uh, the Cain and Abel, which was they did on a Masterworks kit last year, it wasn't for me. And I said, uh, I don't know if I really care for that. Well, apparently everybody else loved it. So, what do you know? But the big news for Pearl is the Masters Music City Custom. Well, it's actually not a Masters. It's just a Music City Custom. Right. Solid ply snare drums. So they're doing solid ash, mm -hmm. walnut, maple, cherry. Mm -hmm. I think I got that right. Now, what I love about this one is that they are solid ply, steam bent, you know, one piece shell with inlays, and they're coming in under $1,000. And what's great about that is that it has the Pearl hardware on it, yeah. which we know is reliable, mm -hmm. um, the great throw off, and the drums are gorgeous, and we bought them all. So. They'll be here soon. We went to A and F, mm -hmm. and they had another big gear, yep. all new hardware. I don't know if you saw the video on that, but the uh, they have spent the past couple of years designing that hardware, and I mean, basically, they took uh, the greatest hits of vintage hardware and made it to their spec, if you will, and uh, it, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It was like as good as you could have made it. They just did all the right stuff. Yeah. I mean, I'm a rock drummer, so it you know it's not really for my, m me, but with the it looks perfect on an A and F kit, I, and I just thought it looked great. And it's clever; it's interchangeable too. Mm -hmm. Showing how they took a couple of snare stands and made a cocktail kit out of it, which was really impressive. But they had the Ankh kit, the uh, bronze uh, drum set, the Chandler kit, which is a new one, which is awesome. And did I mention we bought the booth? And so we're gonna have all of it be showing up shortly. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Good sounding kits. Great sounding kit. Canopus, they had uh, the Zelkova drum set. Again, they were showing that. Yep. Which, you know, it's only $40,000. Right. Well, we did, did a hard pass on that one. I mean, the set's awesome. It's gorgeous, but yeah, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So we are not doing that, but we're doing all the snares right. and I don't know if you are aware, but we they did a bunch of one-of-a-kind one snare drums last year. We're going to do those again. Yeah, this 10 year. or 12. Yeah. yeah. They also have all new finishes for the Aiva series, which we actually already have on the website, which are really nice finishes, um, which I think is going to be very, very helpful. So then we went to DW, which is upstairs, and they had a really nice booth. And, I mean, they're really pushing it forward. I mean... In every area. Yeah. That was one thing that I, I just felt one of the first things we looked at. They said, oh, here's the new 3000 series hardware. And I'm just like, oh, boy. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. But then when we got to the nuts and bolts of it, it was, it was really impressive. Mm -hmm. You know, they put the quick release tilter on that there. Great, it was a great idea. Great the, design. The integrated memory lock was slim. Mm -hmm. That Look, was nice. Looked nice. Yeah, they're just trying to make it better and, and, mm -hmm. and improve things. Yeah. Um, and also, they're now doing a piccolo on the Collector Series, which they weren't able to do um, because of the way the lugs were configured. Mm -hmm. They've since fixed that. And what about that finish? What did they call that? That, uh, it's like a center cut or metal cut finish? I don't know, but it was awesome. Yeah. That was, a, they had leather bass drum hoops. Yeah, black leather bass drum Yeah, hoops. and then, but the, they, they take a piece of veneer and put metal in it. Yeah, they cut the veneer into strips and then they put metal in between the strips. Never would have thought of this, but it looked 
amazing. And they did, they did it with like more than one kind of metal too, right? Different, yeah. Three different kinds? I think there was brass and then steel, maybe aluminum. Yeah. I'm not sure. We are getting one of those kits though, by the way. I didn't tell you that, but nice. it's happening. Good. But I'd say one of the big shock for me was PDP. PDP, I, yeah. Can't say that I'm, uh, you know, putting on my uh, pajamas, getting in my sleeping bag and living in the PDP camp. Yeah. It's really not me. There seems to be like a lower end connotation when you think about PDP. Yeah, but they looked... Not low end. Great, yeah. I mean, the the, the, the jazz kit, the first thing I, th I saw when we walked in, the bop kit, mm -hmm. and the pricing is really attractive on it. Yeah, the snare drums, the new snare drums. Yeah, have. yeah. The, the Aluminum wood hoop. Walnut hoop too, right? Listen, was it? A, I think it was a walnut, or maybe it was a walnut finish hoop, but mm -hmm. really cool drum. Yeah, that black kit for yeah. nine ninety nine. That thing looked awesome. Anniversary kit, but no add-ons are available. So if you're okay with a five-piece kit, I think it looked great. Mm -hmm. Really looked. I mean, yeah. looked awesome. It was like a thousand bucks, right? Right. Yeah. If you're okay with just the five-piece kit, and then we went downstairs. British Drum Company. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're really fired up about, about those guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is, they, and they brought the noise this year. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of major, major things for them. Number one being this casino line of hardware. Really cool. Yeah. So if you could wrap your head around it, they integrate dice into the stand. In order to number your stands, you can use the dice. Um, you know, a lot of people will have four stands on their kit, and then when they go to put everything together, they don't know which one is which. Now, they've, there's people use stickers or they color code it. These guys decided to integrate dice, which just makes it cool. I mean, never seen anything like that before, so yeah. that was really exciting. But the big news is mm -hmm. Nico McBrain has uh, gone over uh, to British Drum Company and is now using their drums, and they made a kit for him. Well, it's it's a Legend Series kit, mm -hmm. uh, the Icarus, but it has the oak veneer, mm -hmm. which actually gives it a hand-hammered look. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. And if you could see the details of the inside of the shell, uh, I was actually got to have a sneak peek of it without the heads on, and just all the detail on the inside of the shell is just, like, it's astonishing. These guys are just doing it right. Mm -hmm. uh, then there was the... Um, the talisman snare drum, which was a steel, steel snare drum, which was um, also going to be, uh, I think that's going to be a good one. Um, and we got the booth, so all that stuff is going to be making its way back here, including that Nico kit, which is just awesome. Mm -hmm. And then also that uh, executive, right? The the legend. The pinstripe one. Right? Yes, the executive kit. That was kind of a, mm -hmm. a cool. That was a really nice set. So mm -hmm. that'll be coming back too. Yeah. yeah. We like that one. Gretsch, there was a lot going on uh, with Gretsch uh, on the lower end of the scale. Mm -hmm. The Catalina kit, the oh, yeah. wood hoop. Looks great. I, I walked over, I said, wow, look at that Renown kit mm -hmm. with wood hoops. <laughs> and uh, then I was corrected. Oh, that's the, the Catalina set. Oh, okay. I mean, the finish is really nice. Uh, and uh, pricing is attractive. What else did they do? Center lug option? Yep, the heritage build on yeah. the uh, USA Custom and Broadcaster. Yeah, and there's a new rail mount uh, option, which is big. Uh, so you can be the judge of that one, but it's, it is rather rather large. Mm -hmm. And I think we left something out, too, with them. Always, we always do leave something out. But Grand Prix snare drum, which is an aluminum, that was, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We were the brand champion. Oh, yeah. We got a very, well, we received a very nice award. We are were, we were Gretsch brand champions for 20, 2019 and 2020. So, uh, yeah, Fred Gretsch brought over this nice signed head and, and wanted to uh, present that to us. So, big honor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, so We love Gretsch. We love Gretsch. What do you know? Hendrix drums was after that. Mm -hmm. Great Stave snare drums. You know, they're, they're just when it comes to quality, pricing, they just hit every single point. Yeah. Um, the drums and the sound. I mean, they sound great. Mm -hmm. 
So we grabbed a handful of those snare drums. Mm -hmm. um, Gibraltar was after that. We went and looked at some the cool Gibraltar mic accessories that I really, really liked. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a, the GCA cymbal arm, but with mic holders on them. Thought those were great. A little bass drum mic holder. And then there's a new rack, right? Yep. Looked like a roller coaster for a mouse, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had the big yeah, thing this, over the bass it's drum. Like a, it's like an arch directly over your bass drum. So yeah. you have to slide your bass drum. I think it's through. modeled after like the... 1920s rack systems uh the premier first had like traps thing system mm. i didn't understand it i gotta be honest with you but somebody's gonna love it yeah so something for everybody something for everybody we went to ludwig mm -hmm. of course we went to ludwig yep we couldn't not love ludwig club date is now gone uh however it can be configured in the what they're calling the outfitter now which is that configurator file when we custom order we can custom order it for you with the bow tie lug if you want to do that and internal mufflers and we could do white paint now mm -hmm. and now we also have the option of rounded bearing edges mm -hmm. on classic maple or now what is called classic oak um, keystone x's has been 86th mm -hmm. and now it's in the classic oak line which is in the classic family there. Speed King is back. The Speed King has been resurrected, and there's also a new pedal. Mm -hmm. Speed Flyer. Speed Flyer, yeah. And that's, uh, that's a step in the right direction as well. I, I like Speed Flyer. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some uh, new snare drums. Yep. Black Beauty, eight lugs. Excited about those. We're very happy. And then uh, Barrett, what is this drum that you're so excited about? I'm excited about the pewter copper phonic. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yep. It's a copper phonic that has a gray finish on it. And for some reason, this guy, losing his mind, loves it. It looks really good. Yeah, it's great. Carpathian Elm, there's a limited, limited, limited collector piece that they're doing this year. And uh, I don't think we even saw that drum. No, it wasn't out. No, okay. But we're getting two. Right. We'll see it then. We'll see it then. They had some great... Finishes on display. Mm -hmm. That copper, right? Bronze mist, I think yes. they called it. Yep. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. And I said, we need to order that in that right. configuration. Yeah. Mapex. Mm -hmm. Bring in the noise this year, Mapex. They have uh, all new Black Panther snare drums, which is uh, long overdue. Uh, that was one of the first set of videos we ever did uh, 10 years ago. So <laughs> it's, it's time for uh, some new Black Panther snare drums, and uh, we're really, really excited about those. But they'll be uh, coming in, in in the spring, um, and they're overhauled the Saturn as well. Mm -hmm. Saturn has been re, re, reworked, and now there's uh, uh, a Saturn Evolution kit, right, which is a step mm -hmm. above, yeah. which is uh, maple and walnut with this new mounting system, or birch and walnut with a new mounting system. We didn't get the numbers on them, so we really don't know what they cost yet. So we're sort of just, you know, withholding what were our feelings on this one until we uh, we know what we're gonna where this will be positioned. Um, you know, historically speaking, they do it right, so we're uh, we're looking forward to that. Sonar was right after that. Yep. Highlight was the vintage blue oyster. No. The Benny Greb snare drums, Barrett. Yep. Benny Greb snare drums. The beach one and a brass one. Um, big hit. I mean, the Bennies are one of our top selling drums, period. And now they uh, put this new muffling system, which is so cool. Did you did you mess around with that? Yeah. It was like... it was. I'll check it out when we get one. Yeah. It worked really well. It was just easy to operate. Looked cool. Uh, so we, we dug that. And yeah, the Vintage Blue Oyster on the Vintage Series kit was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Very gorgeous. Um, they had a double bass setup of it, which I wonder if anybody has a double bass Vintage Series kit. I doubt it. You should get one. No. Okay. No. Uh, we went to Minel after that. Yeah, they had a lot of cool stuff. Yes. Dual Crash expansion. They're just mm -hmm. expanding with the, some of the dual crashes, which... That's been a really popular line for us. Um, there's a good amount of cut with those things, and they mm -hmm. still have that 
that wobble. Mm -hmm. um, They're doing chinas and splashes and stuff now yeah. too. Yeah, and the and the the effects. Yeah, I like those a lot. A lot of trash in those. Pure alloy custom, mm -hmm. which were all we we both we were very, very impressed. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. All of the new symbols were very yeah. nice. Yeah, uh, Peisty mm -hmm. is expanding the 602 line, which is great. Well deserved. Right. So we've got the heavy bell is now back into the catalog, the 13 inch, as well as we have uh, uh, heavies and mediums mm -hmm. in the crashes. So we just have a few more. Yeah, it's just expanding the line. So You're doing hats too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I feel like the whole theme of the show this year is expanding and contracting. Like there's, there wasn't like a whole lot of new lines per se, but mm -hmm. it was expanding. Right, existing stuff. Yeah, and then the con the contracting part of things was everything was getting smaller. Like all the drum sets were getting smaller. Mm -hmm. It was like a busker's delight. It was yeah. everything was like Toka had that. A uh, suitcase drum set that I thought was awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's out, if if that's their team taking orders on it, but there was another little travel stage custom hip. Ah, the stage mm -hmm. custom hip. That was a cool kit. Mm -hmm. Twenty by eight, yeah. and then it had a ten and a thirteen floor tom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a snom. Snom, right? Yeah. It had the throw off on it, mm -hmm. and it won best in show. Yeah. So it, it was a stage custom as we know and love it, and shrunk. Trunk, with a but when you put the engage the snare wires on the the floor tom, it was it was really cool, mm -hmm. and it's very attractively priced. So yeah, lots of small things there. Mm -hmm. And also from Yamaha, they had the Steve Gadd snares that they're doing. Yes, and two hundred of them, right? Just two hundred, mm -hmm. and so they're all signed by Steve, and uh, yeah, really really cool. Also Roland, we went to Roland after that. Yep. And they are now doing uh, drums that look like acoustic drums, mm -hmm. which were cool. Like it, it actually looked like an acoustic setup, TD27, um, and they they had uh, that and the other kit that was there, and we got to mess around with those. Very impressive. Uh, takes me a while to like to figure out what the model numbers are and the pricing, but I know the pricing was really attractive on it, uh, which was a surprise for Roland, to be honest. Um, but I saw the price, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, also, I didn't mention, we're going to be carrying Alesis now, too. That's also another thing. Mm -hmm. So we saw that Strike Pro drum set, and we're like, we're going to give this a whirl. So mm -hmm. that'll also be coming in soon. Sabian after that, that was, Sabian had uh, uh, more line expansion. Uh, we've got an FRX Splash in the China, and expanding upon the, the complex series so we have complex thin rides um not a heck of a lot to talk about because sabian did their new launch just a couple months ago and that's been wildly successful for us the the new hhx stuff mm -hmm. has been very popular yeah so they're doing the thin rides to go with it um yeah that was really cool they were also showing some graphics that they are now uh doing on symbols i don't really know anything beyond that I just know I think it's a direction they're going in. I'm not an expert here. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what, what unfolds. And then we had Shagirl. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the first things, right? That, yeah, that was like day one. I mean, have you seen this stuff yet? I mean, really, the, the snare drums are just... Phenomenal. It, it's, they're exquisite. Yeah. Absolutely exquisite. These are true instruments. Yeah, pieces of art. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna get those drums in. That's that's cool. And a kit too, right? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, I'd say my vote for just favorite overall booth was Tama. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of won that one. Star mahogany drum sets, yep. please. Yeah. Did you see the picture of Barrett on that kit? The kit looks good. Yeah. There's always these guys at Nam that just get down on drums and they're just. Yeah. 
right in front of people while everybody's trying to talk and do business. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I did when Barrett was walking through the show, I said, hey, Barrett, don't be that guy. And, and you were really good. Right. You were very restrained until we got to the Tama booth. He jumped up on the riser and... Uh, I had to hear it. Yeah, well, you had to hear it, would you? Yeah. And how'd they sound? They sounded worth jumping up on the riser for. So, yeah. Being that, that guy for. Yeah. The uh, pommelay finish mm -hmm. is uh, in the mahogany family. So it's a star kit, but it's all mahogany, and it's a very limited piece. So it's, um, uh, I think we have, we have some coming. Uh, really, it's just gorgeous. And then they had new star, ha star reserve hammered brass snare drum, mm -hmm. 14 by 5. Kicks. Yep. And there's also a... Star Reserve Sendin drum. Mm. This is the one that's going to fall under the radar. I promise you, this is what's going to happen. This is one of the best sounding snare drums I've ever played. And when I tried the prototype in October of this drum, it had 10 lugs on it. And I said, well, why'd you put 10 lugs on it? And then I played it and I was like, okay. And they said, and I said, how many are you making? And they said, uh, 15. And I said, <laughs> I'll take 15 of these. <laughs> they said, well, it's not going to work that way. It was only going to be 13 because apparently two of the shells didn't even make it to production. It's a very difficult wood to work with. And it had this really, uh, it was like a, a oak, oak-like properties so sonically, but it felt a little more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Like it had a more of like a oak and mahogany type thing happening really killer drum um that one was nice and i think it's going to slip right under the radar uh because there's just going to be so few of them uh, but the slp spotted gum and the sonic stainless steel drum snare drums are killer mm -hmm. great for the money dynasync hi-hat stand to match the, for all you have who have the dynasync pedals you got to now have a matching stand um new finishes for walnut birch there's the Neon and Oyster, which I have to be honest, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, what? this is just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And then a little later in the day, I looked at it again, I said, okay, it's not too bad. Yeah. And then by the end, I'm like, all right, I like these. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd own it, but I like it. Um, Limited edition kits. I think they're only doing a couple, a, a few of each of those. Mm -hmm. um, WFL, again, incredibly busy booth like last year. The new lugs are killer. Bill Ludwig has done a great job, and the new drums look really awesome. They sound great. And then uh, they had Zildjian, which really all they were showing was the, was the new I series. Mm -hmm. And I've had a couple of people come up to me. They say, what's up with Zildjian? Man? They didn't, not doing anything. They've been putting out stuff like the past few years. Just, yeah. what more do we want? You know, the, they're just, Zildjian has got it dialed right now. They're hitting on all the, mm -hmm. all the marks. So they uh, updated, upgraded the uh, entry level I series. And uh, yeah, that's great. So we're, we're happy with those. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Rogers. We looked at the Rogers stuff. Mm -hmm. So Rogers drum sets are going to be happening sooner than later. I think they're going to be happening in the spring. So we saw the, uh, I don't know if it was the finished product yet or not. So they're touching on uh, some of the old designs uh, and sort of combining those with the new designs. So the, the actual Tom arm is going to be not unlike the original Swivomatic, but it, it it, it's different, but I could not have said that any worse. The new Tom mount is going to be similar to the old one. Uh, no, no. The, <laughs> the new Tom mount is going to be reminiscent of the original one uh, with the Gibraltar style ultra dust, ultra adjust flexibility. And then they beefed up the floor tom legs and the bass drum spurs. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, they were showing some aluminum uh, floor tom legs and spurs, right? Which mm -hmm. yeah, weighed next to nothing. Weighed next to nothing. So yeah, those were impressive. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Danette uh, and George Way booth was cooking. I mean, Ron makes some of the uh, best snare drums uh, out there. So we have all those coming in. <laughs> yep. And George Way kit was gorgeous in that million dollar baby blue. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's always one of my favorite stops because, you know, here there's a guy who who just, it's like I was ta saying about the shag roll stuff. It's art, but it, great sound. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very pleasing to the eye and the ear. Keep your eye on this channel. All of this stuff <laughs> is going to be coming in. I am not really sympathetic uh, to our, you know. You are sympathetic. I am sympathetic. You should be sympathetic. Uh, I have jet lag. I'm sorry. I'm very sympathetic to our uh, shipping and receiving team because we are going to be getting a ton of this stuff in mm -hmm. over the next few weeks. And we're going to be doing some demos of a lot of it. A lot of it's going to be going up to the on the website. A lot of it's already on the website. And uh, I think that uh, this is going to be a great year.